Hello and welcome to yet another video. And in this video, it is something very special because I'll be unboxing the original EOS 5D. I've been wanting this camera for a really, really long time, but it's never really been a right time for me to get the camera. And um, I saw this one for a really, really good deal. Actually, nowadays you can find it for around 150 euros on bidding. And um, if you want, you can spend a little bit more on like those um, camera stores that actually gives you warranty and they usually sell it around 180 euros or 200 euros um, at most. So yeah, these cameras are actually going even much cheaper nowadays. And many of you guys actually recommended me to actually get this camera since I've been talking a lot or giving up my thoughts on different cameras a lot lately, whether it's the 1000D, the 550D, the 400D, and so on and so forth. So yeah, I thought why not actually get this camera when it's already on a pretty much on a good deal. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So the Canon EOS 5D, I'm actually a really huge fan of the 5D line. You know, I used to have the 5D Mark III, 5D Mark IV, things like that, and um, I sold those cameras, but I started my business with the 7D and the 5D Mark II, and the 5D Mark II is still here in the background because I would like to compare it. Um, not much has changed between the 5D Mark I and the Mark II in terms of the uh, exterior design, um, only bigger screen, a little bit better battery weather sealing. Um, some buttons has been rearranged and added on the Mark II for obvious feature reasons. Um, yeah, but uh, this is the. Oh wow, it's nicely packaged. Uh, here's the actual packaging. Nicely bubble wrap and um, foam <laughs> for protection. And this is the box. It's the original box that the owner uh, bought it for. Wow. Things are moving inside though. Anyway, this is actually um, tape you use to uh, cover up. You know, like when you have injury and you have like a plaster and you use a medical tape, this is that medical tape. So yeah, <laughs> it's a bit weird. Cut. But yeah, I see. The moving part was the, um, well, the battery grip and the actual charger itself, the charging brick. I will not be using this strap. Oh, it's a 5D Mark III strap. I actually still have my 5D Mark III strap. So I'm assuming this person, the previous owner, she has the, um, oh wow, the strap for the Mark III. This is the eyepiece for the uh, Fuji camera. The funny thing is, two days ago, I actually ordered a new um, Fuji Eye Cup for my X-T3 because if you use Fuji cameras, you know how badly designed in terms of like how weak the design of the uh, Fuji eyepiece or eye cups are. You always have to replace them, especially if you use multiple cameras. Uh, the battery is already inside. This is really ice cold. This is not the actual original battery, so... Yeah, but the battery grip is original. Um, open up this flap here is actually the actual camera itself. Ah, get out. <clears throat> okay. Here is the actual charging cable. Nothing else underneath, nothing else underneath, so. I'm assuming the manuals and everything is not here, and especially when the box is already this light, then it's definitely not here. Oh look, Mac and Windows compatibility. Um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. The second battery is original, yay. So there are actually two batteries. I was not aware of that. It's quite nice. Oh wow, the feeling is really nice. Really, really nice. Again, I've been wanting this camera for a really, really long time. I heard a lot of good things about the uh, color signs out of the original 5D. My god, getting the flap out is very problematic now, for some reason. Okay, it's out. I think the previous owner didn't really use the ports that it's pretty much stuck tight. But yeah, the port still looks brand new, like no one has ever really accessed it. Um, so yeah, but yeah, 
the condition is still pretty nice. Anyway, um, the color science on this camera is pretty much legendary in terms of like a full frame camera and I don't know, I just heard a lot of good things about it and I really want to try out how it really handles. Of course, I'll be shooting a lot of RAW with it, but a lot of people really love the JPEGs coming out of this camera. So I will be definitely giving this camera a special treatment and shoot JPEG as well with this camera. Maybe RAW plus JPEG. Let me actually put a grip on and compare it to my 5D Mark II. Okay, I shouldn't be doing this since many people actually will complain about it. But yeah, I do... Uh, long story short, I do still highly recommend getting um, the original 5D Classic simply because it is a nice digital full frame camera that you can still get nowadays, especially for under 200 euros. You cannot really go wrong um, with under 200 euros, especially a full frame digital camera. Um, oh, it's taking longer than usual to screw in. Um, and let's see if there is still some juice. And you know, for this kind of price, uh, yeah, there is still some juice. For this kind of price tag, it's if you don't like it at the end of the day, you still can resell it for pretty much the same value as you got it for. And also, if you end up liking it, you can always experiment. It's a very nice starting price point for this kind of camera. 12 megapixel is definitely more than enough for a lot of people. And especially if you want to only post on social media, like Instagram, Facebook, what have you, um, 12 megapixels is way more than enough. You can even crop a lot out of 12 megapixels. And uh, I will still be definitely making a My Thought video uh, on this camera much later, but I think according to the schedule when this video will be published, um, it will be pretty much pretty much close to my thought video anyway, uh, simply because I still have quite a few of my Thai videos that I'm still on the schedule on YouTube. So yeah, I will still be leaving this video with a lot of, well not a lot, with some sample images that I shot. So yeah, but otherwise, just for the sake of comparison, it feels very, very similar. I actually might say I like the grip of the 5D Mark I more because um, there's a little bit of indent more and here is kind of like a curve without any dent so yeah it, I don't know I I really like the grip of this one more but otherwise there's not really that much to um, compare I do have an extender the IP's extender the um, EPEX15 Mark II um, so yeah there's that but otherwise yeah, the, the coating on the Mark II is a bit more faded than the uh, coating on the Mark I. Um, the body is less round here. It's, it's more kind of like straight angled and here is just rounded everywhere. And I don't know, I personally like the look of the Mark II more, but I like the feeling of the Mark I more. And it actually feels more solid, even though the build quality in theory is actually more solid on the Mark II. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. Oh yeah, on the Mark II, after you use the wheel for a while, the sound turns into this sound. Um, the Mark I still retains the original sound that even the Mark II would have when you first bought it new. But if you got it, like after um, you use it for like many years and intensively, it turns into this sound, whereas the sound here remains. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Let me just put a lens on here. Just show you guys the shutter sound. 35, 1.4. Another classic lens, it's the Mark I. Oh wow, the focusing system is not bad. Oh wow, the color only... <laughs> Only if I have a CF card in here, the color is really good. Okay, I straight off the, the screen, it's, yes, um, it's gonna be set in RAW pretty soon, but it's still JPEG from the previous owner. But, wow, the color. Wow, I, I, I love the color, I love the color. I think, yeah, wow. 
I'm wordless now. So I guess that's probably a good place to end the video. Um, if you need a free photography guidebook, it's linked down in the description below. Um, the sample images will be shown by the end of the uh, video, of course. If you have any questions, feel free to just write them down in the comment section below or any suggestions on this camera. Feel free to just leave it down in the uh, comment section below, of course. The uh, photography guidebook is absolutely for free. No need to sign up for email address, nothing. Just click and download, really. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I wish you all a great time. Stay safe. Have fun shooting. Till next time, bye for now.